Alright. Alright, so welcome to Steel. Um, so Steel has a lot of different play styles that you're able to do. Um, this is a big coordinated team based fucking games. Well, map so make sure you talk to your team before you do any of these but um here's some sentry gun spots that you should be doing the f first one um ignore a a does not matter unless you have a sub um two minute time um that you have to cap on which um is near impossible but it's possible like it's it's doable like, especially a three minute time is when you have to start worrying about Holding or pushing A, but um, holding A is super easy. You just put a gun and the entire point is to delay the timer unless you have one minute left and then you can literally do whatever you want because it is impossible to cap E with a sub one minute time. Um, so place you want to be placing your gun is right here at the very start. You can base it off of this right here or this like patch of grass. And... Um, uh, a tip is you just leave that gun there. Um, people might want a dispenser here if they're being aggressive. So like if your demo or pyro is standing here to stop an uber. Or especially if your heavy is up there, which you should be up there. Um, if they don't want it to be there, common spots for the dispenser to be is behind here. Um, right here. And especially right here. Or right here just as long as it's out of the way of um, right where the blue team can immediately see you then you're fine. I personally like to put it right here if we um, have lost everything past this line. Um, one thing you have to worry, watch out for is spies decloaking here and zapping your gun right there. Um, you also have to worry about spies decloaking here and jumping onto your gun from up top but up here is super easy to spot. Down here it's not so much because you should be standing out of blast range. So you should be like around here or up here. So you can't really see the decloak right there, but you should be able to hear it. Um, if, if there is an uber and they pass this mark right here, so like um, if they pass the barrel, then you should immediately wrangle your gun and place it right here. Because um, when they push in, they'll um, immediately sh aim for your gun so that um, they can bring more players in and then they'll focus on their thing, on on your combo if they are pushed up forward. But um, if you wrangle it away, they have to move their thing towards the combo or walk all the way up to your gun. And by the time they're about like here, they, they would have already w w w um, wasted your uber. If they somehow walk past the entire team, which you can easily wrangle here, wrangle up here if they take the long route for whatever reason. Um, a thing you have to watch out for is spies will cloak and dagger right here. And then jump over there and zap it. Especially if you have it right here, where they can just easily zap it here. Or jump and zap it. Um, they'll even decloak here, walk over and zap it right there. It's super easy to do it. Um, you don't want it right here immediately or even push it there because um, since m models kind of shoot through the right side they're able to be here and still be able to spam it with like a rocket or a sticky and you're dead. Um, after you do that um, communicate to your team on whether um, you want whether they want a gun on C or not. Um, most teams probably won't want a gun on C because E is um, far more important for your gun to be at because um, most teams like to do the A, B, E strat or the A where they cap A and then B and then E. Um, but if your team does want a gun here, a good spot is right here. Um, but you do need to watch out from spam right there and possibly spam from down there. Um... What else? Um, so you um, pl places where you don't want your gun is at D, 
were at A because um, they are useless holes that the entire point is for them to just cap it as fast as they want. Um, and there's also no good spots to put your gun because you're either always at the low ground or you're in a weird angle. Um, pl pl places where you want your gun here is you either want it down here, um, up here, or I um, or right here, but you have to um, wrangle it the entire time because it can't be on autopilot once it's up there. Um, you could put a dispenser here, but it's more useful right here, where your heavy will be head glitched right here, and just spam up on everything, and they'll have a dispenser right there. Um, also, your med will be standing here, so he has some heals. Um, your snipers also should be here, so he can easily just walk over, grab heals, and then get back over towards window. Um, Things you want to look out for is a flank going into here, but if your heavy is smart, he's either going to um, see it and walk over there so that they can't push it, or um, he'll be already over here on the health pack. So your gun should be safe from down here, but just in case if you are alone, just be weary of soldiers and scouts that would do that. It's especially after they cap B and your team doesn't want you to hold C, which is a good thing on their part because um, a gun is more e useful overlooking E than it is having a gun on C. Um, things you want to look out for is spam right here. A, a, sol a soldier can easily just keep going like this forever. Um, your Wrangler will deter him, but it's not going to stop him. So you'll have to coordinate with your scout and your soldier to get him away from there, but if they are doing their job correctly, he should not even be in, um, in lobby. Another thing you should look out for is snipers. You can't really do anything about right here. Um, there, there, there's no real way to stop a sniper from just like sitting crouched right here and just like headshotting you or your gun. Um, dispensers. Um, so if, if you are losing B and you know for a fact you won't be able to save it, I like to start building my gun here and leveling it up and then once I get um, forward spawns um, to over there, I will wrangle it so you don't have to carry it or work on leveling up a gun after you lose it. Um, offense, you can do um, a lot of things as NG. Uh, what I personally like to do is I like to hold lobby with a level 3 gun, so you would want your teleporter roughly in this room right here, it's kind of the safest if you want to. Back here is good, but it's also susceptible to spies if they're smart. Um, a, dispenser good, a, a good dispenser placement is right here, because again, you'll have your, your soldier doing nothing but spamming here. And like just sh shoulder peek it the entire time, and if he does get hit, there's a dispenser. Um, you want your gun right on this line right here, um, behind this line, and it's useless for the uh, like past the line, and they can't defend this opening or this opening. So ha ha having it right here is a good sweet spot. If you have to, you can just regular it or use your pi um, pistol. It's not too hard. Um, you don't want a gun over here because again there's going to be a heavy right there so it's kind of pointless. If you want to, um, if your team is fast enough um, or is slow to be, what you want, what you can do is actually take the engineer spot on offense, well on defense and put your offensive gun right here and then that will um, stop the engineer from trying to put a gun there because he's going to be shot from here or he's going to be shot from here and the rescue ranger is not going to destroy it um, or if they um, your only problem though is if they do send a pyro with him um, they're easily able to destroy you and your gun if you're not smart enough or not quick enough um, an another thing engineers like to do is move there is um, Take their leveled gun from lobby 
or is even a mini from lobby and um, walk around and um, either go through wishbone, although it's not going to be a good idea because you'll have a dome in there that's definitely going to see you. So you want to walk down here and then um, steal their sea hole. Um, hold so that you you can easily cap C because once you cap point, C mister. you're able to put your heavy on the point and your entire um, team on E so it'll be way easier to cap so um, ha ha um, doing an early engineer placement here will stop their flank or their combo from walking over here as fast and you'll actually put faster cap time um, your combo should be pushing from lobby because it's the easiest way to push. You have two options you can push there or there. But if they do happen to push through Wishbone, um, a good dispenser placement is right here. Or if or if they are passive, put it right here. Um, it, it, it's at the med safe from snipers. Because the sniper is going to be right here. So if you have your med right here on, on, on the dispenser, he's right in the sight line if he's just doing this AD-80. Or if he's standing here and he's like going in for a push, he's going to eat a sniper bullet. So ha having it right here is a good spot because he can just back up or stuff like that. Um, you don't want a gun in here. Way too cramped. Um, splash damage will be a bitch. If you do put your gun here and also having your entire team in wishbone is um, susceptible to way too much spam um, a sniper line and spy chains um, but again um, steel is pretty much all about how your team wants to play how I like to do it though um, engineer on offense is just as important as engineer on defense when it comes to step time, but it's super easy because you're able to just do this and then just like upgrade all your stuff for free. And as you're doing it, just like walk around and hit everything you possibly can see. And then what you want to do is focus on your gun and your te um, teleporter. They should be level three by the time the gates are open. So you want to do this. Um, make sure this is at least level 2. If you want, you can support your team by putting a dispenser right here. And that will protect them. Well, that will give them a, a place to heal as they're pushing up because they don't need to look away from the choke. Which is important that they should be looking at the choke the entire time because a sniper can, can just prop right here and shoot your team. So if you look away, that's like certain death. Um... But, um, how I like to push A, which you will be pushing A with your scout and your soldier, and potentially a heavy if your team is like that. Again, just make sure with your team, is, is you want to check here, make sure you don't see a demo or a heavy. Um, they, some, some teams like to soft hold A by putting a heavy and a demo, and then after, like, the scout taps here, which it's super easy for a scout to just walk past and jump on here, then they'll move to B. Um... Once you get over here and you have a scout and a soldier on here, pl place your teleporter and then walk through. If you want, you, sh you can hit it with the jag or with the gunslinger if you want. If you are r running minis. Well, well, if you are running minis, don't like walk back to spawn, but you can easily grab your level 2 or 3 and just take the te teleporter and then you'll... Um, assist your flank by bringing a level 3 to a flank fight which is 9 times out of 10 how you win flank fights is with a level 3 gun um, but once you do get here get into lobby again as I said you wanna gun here a dispenser here and then you want the teleporter right here right here on the health pack back here or um, right here but the problem with right here is everyone is able to see it and spies can decloak here and just backstab you um, 
this is like a useless spot. No one really does use it, but um, engineers could potentially for their team. Never mind, I lied. But um, yeah, yeah, it's super easy. Gun here, dispenser here. Um, te um, teleporters aren't as important on this map as it is for other maps like Upward or um, like 5 CP maps, but um, it's still important if you want to push out a B, well, like hold B. And how um, I like to do that is I like to, although it is useless pretty much, it's good for your heavy, which I like to do this. Which although, like, it'll take a any class the same amount of time it is to just go through here. Um, a heavy really needs that teleporter, so that's why people like to put their dispensers here, is because it protects the teleporter. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions, just hit me up and I can go over the map with some more uncommon spots, or if you have any questions about different holds, just tell me. Um, common spidey cloaks, again, right here, and then jump up here. Back here, especially, because they have this health pack right here. Well, not health pack, ammo pack. Um, your demo should be taking most of the fire, but um, if you do, if you see more than one sticky right here, just t take your gun away because that means the demo has already like pushed up too far, and your gun is at risk. Um, Yeah, um, don't place it down here because, um, it's not really in a smart angle. Oh, like to protect a point so a soldier can easily just jump up on, onto the point and you'll be fine from your gun. And a scout can as well. Um, you should, um, this entire map, um, you should be with your com, like, not your combo, your flank the entire time. So you should be playing this like a viaduct. Where um, you will only be with your combo if they need you to, but other than that, you should be sitting with your scout and your soldier and making sure um, they don't die. Because especially on offense and defense, um, on on defense, there's only going to be typically a um, scout and a soldier over in lobby at the start. Um, so if you have three players, a 3v2 typically means a win. If you guys are smart, it, it, it's just a big DM thing right here. Scouts could hide there, other things like that. Just watch all your corners for scouts. Um, frag some people. And if you do kill um, one of them, you need to act um, twice as fast because the chances of a pyro or a demo um, w walking in to assist them like just like a real quick take over lobby and then walk back is really high chance once they start losing players so you need to a um, act as fast as you can to put a gun in here, a dispenser, and a teleporter so that if you do feed you have the ability to spawn just as fast um, yeah so that should be it. If you have any questions, just message me and yeah.